recorded through the G-Train windows, a passenger dragged on his back by an MTA worker, pulled past row after row by one arm as his shirt bunches and his skin skids against the subway floor. Once they reach the door, the neon-clad worker nudges the passenger with his foot and tells him to get up. His co-worker moves in front of the camera and beckons the passenger over. Who's now able to stand up and walk out? You're on the job. You're in uniform. What would give you that notion that you can do that and everything would be fine? Claude Harris shot the video on his phone Saturday around 9 p.m. He says that passenger had been sitting near him asleep for most of the ride. His face was pretty flush. I didn't smell alcohol, but I can tell the you know the results of someone drinking. When the train pulled to the end of the line at Church Avenue, MTA workers started clearing out the cars. Harris stepped off, curiously watching the employee. Walk over to the sleeping stranger. He just immediately, like, go, yo, wake up, and just grabs him, throws him down. And before the guy can even know what was going on, he's being pulled by his hoodie. We showed the video to G Train commuters. Everyone we met was horrified. Wow. And instead of kindly waking him up, they're going to drag him like a human being right there. Many riders told us passed out passengers aren't exactly rare sights in this city. So the MTA should have a protocol for handling them. I think you should call for help, so, you know, we got more than one person pick him up and help him out and start dragging him. You don't do that. That's just unacceptable. What do you think he should have done to get and the guy off? Having a co-worker there, he could have opened up the other door and asked his co-worker to help him escort the man off. The MTA denied our request for an interview, but a spokesperson called the video disturbing and told us that the employee in the video has been removed from service while the incident is being investigated. From Kensington, Brooklyn, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Well, we asked the MTA how employees are expected to clear a sleeping passenger. We are still awaiting a response. Meantime, other city agencies tell us the right procedure is to try to wake the person up and then call an ambulance.